Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. So as you can see, I'm doing a review part two. <music> Welcome to my channel. So as you can see, I am doing a Eunice part two update on the hair. Can you get excited? <laughs> but y'all for real. So I'm here to give y'all feedback on how well the hair colored and it colored, it took color great. I'm very impressed. I'm very happy how well the color took with the hair. Um, and I said that because guys, the true test on how well the hair is, is how well it colors. How well does it take the color and how well does the texture of the hair change, if it does. And the texture did not change. In fact, I kind of feel like it made it better. But I know that's like, what? But maybe it's just me or the products I use. But I feel like it made it better, to be honest. Um, I really like how the color turned out. I didn't have no type of... No idea. I was just going with it. This little piece is right here. I just thought about and did it. But I wish I didn't do this first because it's lighter than the rest of the hair. Um, and I'm just, I don't like that. So I had to actually go in and darken the roots a little bit. I use like, I use a dip brow. And I just did it like that. I just made it work. Okay. If you can use concealer for the part, I can use dip brow for the roots. Okay. So that's what I did. What I also did want to say is that what I did not like about the hair um, is the fact that the closure I got I don't know if you guys remember from my previous video how I said that the part was kind of baby girlish and I only say that because it was just too short for me like I, my, my parts is back there so I had to actually fix the closure part and I go back some more because of the fact that uh, when I did the wig initially and put it on it gave me a hump like right here and that was just too much going on who, who, what, who, nobody naturally has a hump, at least if you're not making it. So I was like, I had to go back. So as you can see here, I went back a little bit further because it initially stopped like right here. So I had to go back some more and that definitely helped. And guys, I'm still getting used to the closure. So yeah, I mean, why, why, why can't I not shift my wig? Y'all know what's on. Who, who we faking for? So, I'm sorry, guys, also that I did not record me making a wig. Let me tell you something. It was a learning experience, and I know I'm here to share with you guys my best practices, but that was just a learning experience for me that I had to figure out what worked best and what to do and what to not do. And it was my first time making a wig with a closure, first time using hot glue, first time using a dome cap, first time using span, uh, elastic band. It was just a first time for everything. So, I'd rather that be... A one-on-one -on -one and learning experience for me so that when I make a video again I can just show y'all what works best and the next video I will not be using hot glue I probably will use it again in the future but it won't be on bundles I'll probably get pack hair and make like a bob or something like something like that you know what I mean but um the hair took very well to heat too as well guys and I'm sorry my hair looks a little crazy it's been a long day and my hair was actually curled earlier and then I straightened it and it was a quick straight line it was like press first you know because I have somewhere to go but the hair is really t it takes well um to heat very well I love this hair and I can also shift this to a side part now guys I don't know if I'm gonna like a side part or not but I don't know like she just shift her head uh yeah y'all know this is a wig who am I faking it for so again I just shift this Ooh, maybe I do like the little side part. Okay. Well, for the rest of the video, guys, we're going to keep this side part popping. See how well it does. And y'all, don't mind the hair being shiny. I got a little heavy with the sheen this morning. and Well, actually yesterday, so. But if y'all want to see, like, I just randomly did whatever. I don't even know what I was doing, to be honest. So y'all be like, what was you trying? I don't even know. I just wanted some color. No exact color I wanted. I just wanted a color and I just wanted to work. So 
I'm actually going to go play with this hair some more, like razor it out some more. Give me some layers, but fill it out some. Like, I may not even have it this long because it's, now that is another thing I will say I don't like about the hair. It's just too thin. Look at that. This is the hair. All of the hair. And, you know, I know, like, all hair doesn't, but that's just too thin for me at the end. I mean, where's the fullness at? So I'm probably going to, like, cut it up some more and fill it out some more. Because at this point, it's just too short. And I don't like it. I don't like it. Like, I don't like thinned out. Like, I, I mean, I just don't like it thinned out. I'm going to go in and, you know, have some fun. But... <clears throat> I'm already in the process of ordering some more hair because I want to make a wig that's like burgundy-ish, reddish, you know. So y'all keep looking up because something's right there. But um, I'm going to do that and I'm really going to hope that it works itself out. Um, I have a lot of people contact me as well and I just want to throw this disclaimer out there as well because I don't want people to get misconstrued or... Um, I don't want people to misunderstand what I'm trying to... What I said earlier... Because that's facts, but it came, you know what I'm saying, like that, to say this, is that that hair that I told you I was three years old, um, I took care of that, I take care of that hair, and I take care of that hair like it's my hair. So I wash it, I condition it, I trim the ends, I comb it, I brush it, I tend to it. I don't, if I'm not wearing it, it's not just thrown in my closet. It's being taken care of. So, I just want to say that because I feel like people will misunderstand it and misinterpret it as like you the hair just like that you got to take care of the hair just like you take care of your hair and if you don't take care of your hair then that's a different story and that's only something you and God are going to talk about because I don't know what to tell you and I don't know but I just want to throw that disclaimer out there because I don't want people to get mad when the hair don't last or whatever whatever the case may be with the hair like when you color your hair, you can't just shampoo your hair. You have to use neutralizing shampoo to get the product out. And if you're not using that, then you can't blame the the vendor. You can't blame nobody if the hair doesn't last, because that's only that's your fault. Like that's your fault while the hair's not lasting. So that's a little sidebar. Sorry, but if you guys are interested and want to know what I do to upkeep hair, my hair, whatever the regiments I do, definitely comment in the description box below. And I will be more than happy to do a video and show you some of the products, some of the best practices, what I do, how often do I trim ends. Because y'all like, but it's bundles. But the bundles shed, do they not? Just like your real hair. Okay, so I do trim the ends. And I just feel like it's a learning experience for me as I go just to figure out what the best practices is. And I don't mind sharing with anybody because if it works for me, it might work together for you for the good. So I definitely just wanted to come on here and give you guys an update. I'm still going to come back in a month and just give you an update on the hair and see how well it is. Um, but I just wanted to come on here right now and just do a quick update with you guys and let you know how well the hair took to color and how well the hair is taking the heat so far. Now, um, I haven't really thought of anything bad regarding the color because the too bright, that was my fault. And the heat is no problem. The only thing I would say that I did not like about the hair so far is the, how short short the closure was. It was literally like right there, if not. And I had to fix that, but that's not nothing. You know. <clears throat> the only thing I don't like either is how, I just really don't like how thin the ends are. But it's probably going to come up to like right here next time y'all see me because it's just too short. I don't know. It's a lot. It's, I got to get used to it, guys. If anything, if anything, though, I need to get used to this color. I don't like it. But that's just me. But listen. I don't want to be here long because the video is really meant to be short just to give y'all a brief overall review so far. But please comment below if there's something you want to know, something you want to see that may have been best with me, that you've been friends or following me and just want to know what I do for this and that third. Just let me know and I'll do it. Um, like the video, share with a friend, tell a friend, let them know. 
Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. What kind of friend are you can you tell them? Let them know. Even if you're talking bad, let them know so they can watch and see you. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And comment below and let me know what you may want to see. Or something that you didn't like in my video that I could work on. I'm always here for good feedback. How can I learn? So, just thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.